hello friends welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here i am martina lily and today i'm going to play with some new makeup that i got in black friday sales i'm also going to uh, tell you guys a little update slash announcement and hopefully we are going to have a good old-fashioned makeup time so hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys if it does do the youtube things like subscribe hit that notification bell let's get into it before i uh zoom on in nice and close and get started on the makeup i have some exciting news to share at least I think it's exciting. I have finally gotten myself together enough to launch my merch. Yay! <laughs> so a link in the description box is going to be my little merch website and if you remember Simply Blair launching her merch or you purchased through that website with her merch, which I did myself, uh, that's exactly who I've gone through. It's the same company that I've gone through. Um, obviously you have no pressure whatsoever to pick up any of this merch, you guys. Like literally you do you it is no skin off my back either which way if you want to amazing if you don't you don't like it's all good i think this is a good starting line for me i'm definitely a perfectionist and i have bigger ideas than like what my capability is right now but i think this is a good starting one and then i would love your guys's feedback and like what you want to what else you want to see and stuff so naturally the theme of my match is makeup <laughs> but also coffee because you know if you know I am obsessed with coffee they are like my two obsessors in life so I have created two different types of coffee mugs a travel coffee mug and two jumpers let me show you so this is the first one this is the first coffee mug and I love this so much it turned out I, I hope it's gonna show well on my camera so it says makeup and coffee on the front there and then on the back here this just an fyi this will be moved to be more center here it does say by martina lily hopefully it's showing that but it will be more centered this is just my sample cup um but this one will be the same so there is that one and then as you know if you make it to the end of all of my videos one of the lines that i always say is if you've made it this far you're an absolute legend or you're a legend and so i had to make a mug that says that on it so it says if you've made it this far you're a legend and then on the little corner here it's got by martina lily if you click on the website down below there's going to be like way better photos and all that kind of stuff i'm just kind of like talking and showing you guys through and then if you want to see like all of the like professional photos and stuff i say professional like i've taken them myself okay <laughs> um click on the website down below this one i love this is a travel mug it's kind of um not like you know a proper stanley it's not as big as the stanley mugs but it's pretty big so it has the makeup and coffee on it and then in the bottom corner here it has the by martina lily and then it has your handle but it's also the size that can like fit in your car cup holders and stuff so and then it has like your um little slidey bit right here and then i did design two jumpers as well i wanted to do a t-shirt but for some reason at the moment the t-shirt that i actually wanted like there was like a delay and it was going to take months. So I've done jumpers for now, but just keep in mind, t-shirts are coming. I just, I have to order the samples and everything first because I don't want to like put something up that I've never like physically seen and touched. So instead for right now, I figured I'd do two jumpers. Now I got my like oversized because that's how I like it. So this is the first one. They're both in black for now. On the front, what you've got is the makeup and coffee print again. So that's like the front of it. And then on the back of it, it just says by Martina Lily. I absolutely love that. And then I think also if you can see cat hair on the jumpers, I'm so sorry. When I tell you I have sticky rolled these that many times, it just lives in the air around here with my cats. <laughs> this one I think might be my favorite. This is my, so it says coffee makeup, coffee makeup. So I don't know. I'm not doing a great job. I'm so sorry. So that is the front of the jumper. And then on the back, it has your by Martina Lily again so that is my first lot of merch that i have ever designed i cannot believe it. it it's crazy to me i do think i've been really slack and like have not got these up in time if you were hoping for like christmas and stuff i'm so sorry which if you would get these as christmas gifts like that blows my freaking mind and um i'm so sorry but um you know life has been life and i'll talk about that during the video <laughs> so uh anyway um again it's like if you choose to support my merch in any way, shape or form, I cannot even begin to tell you guys how much I, from the bottom of my heart, thank you, appreciate you and how gobsmacked I am to be one of those creators now that has merch that people would want to buy. 
Like, why me? Why? That just, I just, it, it, my brain short circuits. So, like, please know from the bottom of my heart if you support my, my channel in any way, shape, or form, or support my merch, like, thank you so, 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 so much. Also, if you don't have the money right now to purchase this merch, even if you wanted to, don't stress, you guys. Like, do not stress. Times are tough. The economy is tough. The world is tough right now. It is a tough time of year. Please do not stress. Um, you know, liking the video is like a free way that you can support my channel that honestly supports my channel in immensely. Commenting supports my channel immensely. Like it really does like tell YouTube to like push my video out there. So that is a free way you can support my channel if you wish to. But otherwise you just simply here watching is enough for me as well. So thank you truly. Please feel no pressure whatsoever. Just if you want to, it's there. All right, let's zoom in now and get into makeup, shall we? I just realized my aircon was like blasting when I was doing that merch bit and I'm so sorry if that was annoying in the audio. It is like, a, we are having like the hottest year on record or something ludicrous in Australia right now. And when I tell you like even the aircon blasting at full pelt is like not enough to cool the house down. It's so insanely hot, which is why I'm not even wearing my jumpers because Normally I could like blast the aircon in here and it would be really chilly and I could put it on even in summer, but it is just the heat wave, you guys, the heat wave. Let's start off with my Pat McGrath Labs eye primer. I was so happy when I saw the Intensify stick back on the Pat website. The way that I was stressing about that Intensify stick being discontinued, let me tell you. This is the Juno & Co Cloud Sponge, by the way, and if you do not have it, do yourself a favor and get it and you're welcome. In advance. So I do have like a full, like a Reban Beauty review on my channel because I have quite a few of the products. I picked up almost one of everything in the categories from him or from them, sorry. And uh, this brand is getting slept on just way too much in my opinion. It's, it's actually incredible, the brand, in my personal opinion. Also, it has been like two weeks since I have filmed which we'll get into. So if this is all disjointed, that is why. I'm gonna quickly insert the swatches of this little quad and then we will do the look. So I'm going to start with my Refa 33 and uh, start with this shade right here. I have no idea what kind of look I'm going to do, I'll be honest. So when all else fails, we will start with blending this through the crease. Also, my face is like fully about to just purge like crazy and I don't quite know why. It could be because I got a hydrofacial the other week. Maybe. Like, mm, I don't know. It's not liking something though. It could also just be the heat here, honestly, and it's just getting foul. Um, well, that blended out that quick and easy. Did you guys just see that? <laughs> Job done. Nice. Um, I did love the formula of the... I've got the green... Um, I think it's Paradise Lost Then Found or something quad. And I did really like the formula of that one as well. It's just not a color story I would wear every single day. That's why I kind of really wanted to pick this one up. Uh, actually, let's just pop this all over the lid, shall we? Um, because this is a color story that I would use on the everyday. Oh, well, this shade is especially is my kind of a shade. Gosh, that's really, really nice. Honestly, they should make these uh, matte shades just even in single one and done's because look at that you could literally now do the rest of your face and put like a bold red lip on and like how stunning or like a bold lip in any color really. How stunning. I think I will take now this Sonia G Crease Pro and just take a little bit of this one um, because this is a cream and so the Sonia G ones are a little bit of a stiffer brush which will work well I think with a cream. And we will start by 
just, I don't want to go too deep, but I do want to see what this shadow is all about. Now this does have a bit of a sheen to it, so just keep that in mind. That's blending out really lovely though. I would say this shadow is like a gunmetal actually, almost. That is pretty. And then all I'm going to do, because I don't want it to be too deep, is just take that 33 with no extra colour and just like buff that out over the top again. I've been watching that many Christmas movies, you guys, like back to back. Sorry, I had to stop talking because there was a plane. The flight path is like super loud over our house. Yeah, I've been watching so many Christmas movies. My favorite is like Single All The Way on Netflix and like Happiest Season. Uh, I think that is on Binge. Um, and I just love those Christmas movies, they're so good. Um, obviously there's also the classics like Your Home Alones and all that kind of stuff, but those are like rom com -y ones, I just... I just love them, they're so cute. So I've kind of just been watching them on repeat because they're kind of like my comfort movies, <laughs> um, which has been delightful, I won't lie. I have been super sick, so I don't know if you guys have noticed about, like I really have not been pushing out the content like I normally would. I have just been so, so sick with, I don't know what, like a flu of some sort. Okay, I'm now going to take the, uh, whatever this is called, Refer 2, and I'm going to try the blue. I really want to try the blue and just see how this performs. I will do it with no intensifiers first. And let's just see. It might even be better with like my finger. I mean, that's very soft and subtle, which I quite like because I don't actually want an intense blue. I just want something that I can wear on the everyday that like has a nice shift to it, but is still very subtle, you know? like that. And I know this is probably not impressive on the camera, you guys, but when you think about that for like, say for me, like with a work capacity or something, it's actually very beautiful. Now we're gonna do intensifiers on the other side for science. Gosh, the intensifiers just makes such a difference. Oh, I really like that, you guys. I understand if for those of you that are looking for like intense pigment, this might not be for you. Um, but for me who just wanted something quite subtle, this has performed exactly how I wanted it to and I am so impressed. I think what I'll do as well is just take a touch of this one with the rougher two, why not? We're here. And I'll just pop that in the center here. You're not gonna be able to see it much, but yeah, this is exactly the kind of formula I wanted for like just a quick everyday easy fuss free look. Oof, very pretty. Gosh, my skin is just purging so much it's annoying me. It's fine, I'm just going to ignore it. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more of this dark brown. Yeah, so I think I was saying I was really sick. So I got like, I'm just tapping this on the outer corner by the way. I got some kind of a cold. I did do a COVID test and it was negative, but to be honest, I feel like it must've been some kind of a strain that like doesn't show up on like the testing or something because I had all the symptoms, like the fever, oh my gosh, was the worst. And uh, I had like this ridiculous cough, like ridiculous cough. I swear I almost broke a bloody lung uh, for like three weeks. <laughs> So it's been just kind of, I've just been exhausted and just my actual day job that pays my bills <laughs> has just been super busy as well. And it's just, you know, I've been super tired, super sick. My actual job has been very busy and it just got all too much for me. I've been doing a full-time job, two full-time jobs now since 2020, right? I just, I just hit a wall, you guys. I hit a wall and I was like, I need a break. I wouldn't say I necessarily like had like a full break because I was still putting up content, but I just took my foot off the pedal and just put up content when I was like kind of feeling it, if you will. Um, so yeah, and I think I'm going to continue to kind of do that a little bit through the rest of December. Let's put primer on while we're talking, sorry. Um, we're going to leave the eyes here. I'm really sorry if this video is sucky quality and all over the place. I just, it's been a while. Um, okay, I'm just going to take this Synchro Skin Bl Soft Blurring Primer. I'm just trying it at the moment to really see if I want to keep it in my collection, to be honest. Um, 
what was I saying? Yeah, I just, I think I might continue to do that for December. If some weeks I want to pump out a heap of content, I will. And if other weeks I want to take my foot off the pedal and just maybe put out two videos, I will. Um, because I really, you know, I really want to just slow down and enjoy Christmas this year. And last year, or the last couple of years, which I don't regret, do not get me wrong, because YouTube really does bring me a lot of joy. But the last couple of years, Christmas kind of like passed me by because... I've been trying to put up so much content and stuff that I kind of didn't have time to like, you know, do things <laughs> at all. So this year I just kind of like, you know, I want to go and do lots of Christmassy things and spend time with my friends and family and all that kind of stuff. And that just means, unfortunately, I can't get as much content out. Um, and hopefully, I actually, you know what, I'm not even going to say I'm sorry because I know that you guys get it and I know that you guys support me. And every time I say like, I'm sorry, you guys like, don't apologize, like live your life. And you are right. Uh, I'm going to take my Tarte Green Color Corrector uh, and try and cover up all this bloody redness. I've got a couple of weeks off over Christmas as well from like my job, which I've, I've not had kind of Christmas off from my job in like five years, I think. Um, I usually get the public holidays off, but that's about it. Uh, so I've got two weeks off over that, which will help me kind of reset as well and take some time and all that. So I'll probably be back to pumping out the content again in January, which is hilarious because... Basically, you see everyone on YouTube pumping out content this month because the ad revenue is like the highest. So no, usually November and December, sometimes October, but usually November and December, the ad revenue is like pretty much the highest it'll get a year, at least from my experience over the last three years, because like everyone's buying Christmas presents and stuff. So there's a lot of like ad advertisers are going to put a lot more money in right and so now's the time where you kind of want to pump the content because you're going to earn the most money which makes sense right um and that's no shade or hate to creators like you put out this content you may as well get something from it from the platform right uh i did pick up rose quartz the color corrector in the matchsticks from fenty beauty in the sale and i've been using this for uh how long have i been using this two weeks now I think because I brought it like you know how the, all the sales started before Black Friday so I bought it as soon as like the sales started uh, I'm just gonna take it I blend it out sorry I'm with this rough for 35 and this is actually not too bad I wouldn't say it's my favorite but it's not too bad I would like it a touch creamier but um if you have oily under eyes you probably actually quite like this but yeah it's not I wouldn't repurchase it but I'll continue to use it if that kind of makes sense so just meh um, what was I saying? Yeah, so like this is kind of the time, especially like also a lot of people tend to kind of watch a lot of YouTube right now. So uh, for someone like myself, for example, what I do now, by the way, is I just pick up a little bit more on here because it doesn't have like as much coverage sometimes as what I like. Um, people like myself who's trying to really grow their channel and, you know, I would love to be like, you know, you're Morgan Turner, you're Michelle Wong's, like that would be a dream come true for me. So for right now, for someone like me who's trying to achieve that dream, I should be pumping out the content because this is where I'm going to get like the most growth, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes that doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Just sometimes that doesn't matter. Um, because my skin is feeling or looking kind of a bit rough, I'm going to take my Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie foundation because this foundation just makes my skin look really flawless, to be honest. You know, sometimes, like, money is great, success is great, all that kind of things, and I love makeup, don't get me wrong. But sometimes sitting on the couch and just vegging out and playing games and, you know, having a good time is more important than success or money or you know whatever and so i mean it's always probably more important but sometimes we've got to pay the bills you know um so that's what i've been doing and i'm okay with it you know and it's a foreign concept for me i'm a perfectionist i'm a massive massive perfectionist um and it hurts my soul a little bit to like know that i could be doing better and i'm not but also at the same time i feel very much at peace with like taking a bit of a step back and a little bit of a break so that's what I'm doing, <laughs> which is why I've been super slow as well. Just like getting up back to comments and everything. It's just getting it. I mean, aside from the fact that I have been so sick, the sickest I've been in years and years and years, I'll be honest. Um, sorry, I've got to bring this like down here because it's a bit darker than my actual skin. Apart from the fact that I've just been actually so, 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 so sick for about a month now um, and so busy and all that kind of stuff, uh, my channel like in the most blessed beautiful lucky way is doing so well uh 
way better than in my ever wildest dreams to be honest with you and obviously I'm a micro micro channel but for me it's like I never even imagined to get to the level of success on YouTube that I have right now I really didn't I was like oh maybe I'll get like two two thousand subscribers if that and so the fact that I'm like almost at 15 is just <laughs> wow 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 <laughs> you know and yes I absolutely uh you know still want to take it further don't get me wrong but it, even at the channel, like the level that I'm at now, this is L2 in the pat concealer, by the way. I picked this up in the sales. It's actually becoming quite hard to keep on top of everything. Like it's really hard, especially with a full-time job. It would be fine if I didn't have a full-time job. Um, I'm going to take this on the BK Beauty. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to blend this out with the BK Beauty N16. This is the Nikki LaRose one. I do have a video coming up where I kind of review this brush set in it. Um, but my updated thoughts since that video as well is just like, it's a great, great, great brush that can't fault it. Highly recommend it. What was I saying? Yeah, it's um like if I didn't have a full-time job, it prob I'd probably be completely, f well, I would be completely fine because I would have, you know, 40 extra plus extra hours a week where I could, you know, do comments and uh, none of this is complaining, by the way. It's just the reality of the situation. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, it's becoming quite hard to film, edit, answer comments, try and get Instagram stuff up, you know, that kind of a thing. I can... I can just, just film and edit, just now, kind of thing, just with it all and 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 answer com and it's just yeah, it's 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 getting quite hard. So I think next year what I'm going to start doing, I think I'm going to quite seriously look into maybe getting an editor. I can't fully afford it, like depending on the month and depending on how my channel has gone for the month. Um, as a side note, I'm going to take some of this Estee Lauder Futurist Concealer in 0.5N. Um, I just want to brighten that up a little bit. Uh, some months my channel does really well money-wise and I could afford it. Some months it doesn't and obviously I use my channel money to buy my makeup. Again, none of this is claiming, um, complaining. It's just the back end, you know. It's just what happens. So I can't fully afford, like, really an editor. But I think I might just even maybe take a little portion of my own income from my actual job and pay for an editor because one I'm just gonna use my sponge one I hate editing it's just not fun to me and two I just don't have the time and it's like sometimes it's like work smarter not harder do you know what I mean and like I kind of think of it as like maybe if I did get an editor I could uh, have a bit more of a balance but also maybe I can like then focus on the filming side and like the engagement side and all that kind of stuff and get up some more content because I'm only having to worry about like half of it and then like you know it might pay off financially where it's just like the editor then in turn will eventually pay for itself kind of thing so that's what I'm thinking but you know there's also not just the cost of it but like finding an editor that like you vibe with and can edit how you want them to edit kind of thing or how you would edit your videos so yeah that's what's kind of going around in the background if you're wondering and if you've been wondering kind of you know why I haven't been as active we are up to cream contour and I'm gonna take this little Westman Atelier Christmas set I really liked this because it came in like their minis I love the red so you've got biscuit the contour nectar the highlight and petal the cream blush and I love biscuit I had biscuit years and years ago it's like a uh, you know it's a great contour shade that's biscuit right there this is Nectar, the lipstick. So the lipstick is my least favorite. It, I don't, I don't even know if you can, you'll be able to see it here. Sorry, you can kind of, kind of see it there. Um, and it's not bad. It's just a little bit greasy. Although this feels less greasy than what the other lipstick I had was. And then this is Petal, their kind of like most famous cream blush, which is there. So I picked this up and I got it on discount. I think I ended up getting it for like ninety five Australian dollars, and I was like bargain all three like I've been wanting to pick up a cream blush and the cream contour for a really long time now I love that they're minis I love that they're in the little pink uh sorry red little Christmas set everything about this whole thing just made it like absolutely a must have for me especially for $95 so let's take a uh, biscuit contour here I'm going to blend this out actually with my N17, this side, not this side. Uh, I've been liking doing this lately um, from BK with Nikki LaRose. Uh, yeah, so that's been what's what's been going on with me. So I'm just taking a beat to enjoy Christmas this year a little bit more. And then we will be back 
gung-ho in January, don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's not forever. Sometimes you just need a little break, you know? And I probably should have the break in like January when like you don't earn as much money. But yeah, like I said, sometimes, you know, money's not everything, all that jazz. Sometimes you just gotta look after yourself. That's the most important thing. Oh, I forgot how much I really just love this contour stick. It's so delightful. Um, these brushes, by the way, from BK are really, I know I've said it already, but like they're really good. If you can get your hands on them, I do recommend them. I am so bummed though. Today I noticed on the Spectrum website, Spectrum Brushes, the whole Katie Jane Hughes 25, I think it was 25 brushes or whatever, the, br the massive brush set was 175 Australian dollars down from 400, right? So it was on sale. And for some reason they don't ship it to Australia from their website. I can buy everything else but that. So I don't know why. I was bummed though because I was like oh because that brush set is a lot for me like I was just like I don't know I don't really need it you know what I mean like not that I need anything but I was like for $175 like that is a steal and I'll get it but alas it was not meant to be all right we're gonna set my under eyes I'm gonna take it on the BK N14 and you know I'm mixing my make and my Bobby Brown together like normal I did in very exciting news I am so pumped pick up the Sisley powder in the Black Friday sales. I got it for 25% off. I have wanted it for so long. Terrible shade range. There's like two shades. So unless you're my color, tough luck kind of thing, which sucks. But it gets such rave reviews uh, that I've been dying to try it for a really long time. And yeah, to get 25% off, I was like, yes, ma'am. So that is coming in the mail. And you bet your bottom dollar, I'll be doing a review and letting you know. Uh, I also picked up a heap of Hourglass products and I'm going to do a full face of Hourglass for you guys. So we'll see how that goes. I was such a hater of Hourglass back in the day, but they've kind of turned themselves around for me. I like this little brush. It really just gets into the under eyes quite nicely. For the rest of the face, I'm just actually going to take my Kosas powder. This is just an airy with my veil brush. Just It's here and I don't have a new one. I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera and then we will come back and keep going. It has like too short to put back, but it's just too hot and I need it back. So it keeps falling out. Anyway, uh, I thought I would do my make brow gel on camera with you guys. So what I've done is I've put my hourglass uh, fiber gel through my brows, which is kind of like the gimme brow, my Victoria brow, uh, brow pencil. And then this is just a clear gel. That's how many steps I have like of gel because my brows are so strong. For some reason, I need like that much gel to just like fluff them up. I quite like this. I do. It's not the strongest gel I've ever tried, but I, I really like the brush and just the way that it, see how just, I like the way it makes my brows look. See that? Mm. I mean, I have two different shaped brows and like this, this side goes like hi, this one doesn't, it's, they call it a, you know, it's lazy, it's tired, it doesn't want to participate. So, you know, they don't look even or whatever, but who cares? I just like it. I picked up this Pat McGrath Labs taupe one because I've been wanting to try it for quite some time and it's always been out of stock. It's kind of like a deeper version of the LH Cosmetics Grayish Core Crayon, which I've always wanted to try. So I'm just going to line my top waterline. Maybe we'll just do the lower waterline with that as well, just to see what it looks like. That's actually really quite nice. That's kind of what I was really hoping it was gonna look like, where it's like not too dark, but it is a little bit deeper. We're just gonna take this quad again, and I'm just gonna take this shadow first with a pencil brush, and then just a little bit of this one. For the inner corner, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this one. This is just a Sonia G pencil brush. Mm, I really like how that's turned out. That eye look, I really, really do. Absolutely beautiful. And then I figured we would just go ahead and use the Raban mascara as well while we're here. What do you guys think? I'm impressed. Nice. I 
thought I would use my Sigma bronzer today. I'm just going to take it on my BK 103. Uh, because Sigma's still got like, I think, a ridiculous kind of sale going. And I really like this bronzer. And I picked up, so from the Sigma Black Friday sale, because on, over on actual Black Friday they did free worldwide shipping, which was kind of what I was waiting for. I picked up, I can't remember, yeah, I picked up one of the cream brush, cream blushes. I picked up one of the, another one of the powder blushes. I picked up the loose setting powder. And I can't remember. I picked up something else. I think I might have picked up like a brush drying rack or something. Anyway, but yeah, I picked up a couple of things from Sigma because I really have been very, very impressed with their makeup this year. The cream highlight, let's take the Vive on this side. So this is the Vive. Uh, no for glow liquid highlight in bijou and i really like this i actually really like this i will say the rest of these have been um first impressions so far but this is not a first impression i have been using this for about a week now and i've really enjoyed it um i like it just as much actually as the vive skin do i think it's really see how it's really subtle but beautiful and there's different shades that you can get in it non-texturizing very natural See that? Yeah, I, I do. I really actually, I think this is a huge win from Vive. I really, really like it. Let's try Nectar because normally I don't like this product from Westman. It's like the only product I've tried from Westman, Westman that I don't like. So I'm just going to pick it up directly on the sponge. I just find it's a bit sticky as all. Well. Let's try it. Okay, but that looks stunning, doesn't it? I mean... I still, I think I like this side better, but that is beautiful on its own. It is sticky though. It is sticky though. So it needs to be set, but it is nice. I like it. It's not as sticky as it used to be. It used to lift everything underneath it, but it hasn't done that. But yeah, I still, I, I definitely like this one because this one isn't sticky at all. It's just melted into the skin completely. Blush. Let's take Petal, which I'm very, very excited to try. Oh, Petal. And what will we take this on? Do you reckon a sponge or a brush? Let's try a brush. So I'm actually going to draw it like so first. I'm going to take it on a ref of four. So I'm just like working it in. Oh, I like that. It's very subtle and I like, I appreciate that. I think that's nice. Let me put a little bit more on. But we are going to put a powder highlight on. So not a powder highlight, a powder blush. Yeah, I like that. That's very pretty. You can see why people like this. Let us set that with Cosmic Coral from Pat McGrath. And I'm very excited. So this is my Smashbox brush. Oh, a bit much. Oh, that's a pretty one. Don't worry. If it's too much, I can tame it down. That's pretty though, isn't it? Oh, I like that. What a delight. Um, where's my setting spray? Here it is. Charlotte Tilbury. I really feel like this has come together delightfully. I didn't pick up any new lip products in my Black Friday sales. I have enough, I think. Um, so let's go ahead and use my Clay de Po lip combo again. So this is Calanthe Orchid, which is that one. And then this one is in Mokara. And I used these in my revisiting my 2022 faves video, if you're wondering. Oh, by the way, this is Vive Bark. I also forgot to completely say everything will be linked in the, in the description box down below. Uh, all the products that I'm using today and they are affiliate links. So if you shop through them, thank you so much. All right, let me go figure out hair and jewelry and all that jazz and we will zoom out and wrap this video up. Alrighty, my friends, finished makeup look. Oh, what do you guys think? I really like it. I feel very me. The only thing I probably don't feel me about is the darker eyeliner in the lower waterline here. It kind of throws me off a little. I'm used to just my brightener. But overall, I really do like how everything has performed, which is delightful. I bought it with my hard-earned money. So... I'm stoked and yeah I love the highlight I love the blushes I love the cream contour I really love the eyeshadow palette like I really love how this eye look has turned out lip combo everything I love everything happy days now if you have made it this far I have a little uh, treat 
little treat for you. So in the sale, I am actually annoyed about one thing though. In the Pat McGrath Lab sale, she had the bundle of the two new holiday palettes, the big ones. So I picked that bundle up for you guys. I thought I'd do two giveaways. And my order didn't ship for like two weeks, which is so odd for Pat. I literally ordered like two weeks. And then by the time they went to ship it, they'd obviously sold out of one of them and then refunded me that half of the bundle, which is like, yeah, I got a refund, but I was just like, I mean, I bought it two weeks ago. Anyway, it is what it is. So I only have one palette, unfortunately, now to give away. I am so sorry, but at least we are doing one giveaway. I was supposed to have two, but at least in my opinion, this is the better color story, but you know, it runs different. So uh, I'm going to give this away. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Bijou Brilliance Starstruck Splendor. I won't lie, when I opened this, I was tempted to keep it myself, but I was like, Martina, you, you do not need this. Okay, but I will say, this one looks, uh, it's not going to pick up on camera. It's actually so much prettier in person. This shade right here and these two greens, they've got me tempted. They've got me tempted, shan't lie. They're absolutely mesmerizingly beautiful, but I mean, look, I have enough eyeshadow, you guys. So, I'm going to give one of what, give away this to one of you guys. I was hoping to have the other color story, you know, two giveaways, but whatever. I'll do another giveaway shortly. Um, but, uh, there will be a Google Doc link in the description box down below for you to enter. And all of the details, like when it's cut off and all that kind of stuff, uh, will be down below as well. Um, just remember if you're entering one of my giveaways, I will never, ever, 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 ever ask you for money or you like the only thing I'm going to ask you for is your address so that I can send it to you, but you do not have to pay for postage, just open worldwide, that kind of a thing. So if you get reached out to from someone asking for money or something or like really, really weird personal details, it's not me. Okay. And I am verified on Instagram as well. So you can always like, I'll probably reach out to you via email, but, um, like if, you're unsure, just like message me on Instagram, I'm verified and you can like, um, check that it's me, you know, don't get scammed out there. There's some scammers. I won't ask you for money. I just want to give you a gift for supporting me. Okay. So there's that. And then let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget the merch link is in there. Uh, I am very, very excited about it. And again, like just in advance, if you support my merch in any way, shape or form, thank you. If you support me in any way, shape or form, even if it's just watching this, giving the video a thumbs up, commenting, whatever it is, I just appreciate you guys immensely. I, I do. You make my day so joyful and yeah, truly thank you. And um, if you may, as well, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.